Hello everyone, my name is KK and today we are completing the new Odyssey called Estimated Delivery Date. Uh, this Odyssey was late, the developers uh, messed up and it appeared two hours late, but we still got a pretty decent Odyssey. From this small percentage of people who are watching this are actually subscribed, so guys, consider subscribing right now because I'm making videos like this all the time and even better, you can always add and subscribe, it's free and there's no reason not to do it. Uh, we will be completing it without any monkey knowledge points. The hero we are using today is Azili, and this is an extreme odyssey, meaning that you are not allowed to use the same tower twice. So if you place the tower, you lose it until the end of this odyssey, which is why we need to be really, really conservative with all the towers, and I came up with the best possible scenario you can use, uh, completing the first map with two towers, third map is gonna be also two towers, second map i think it's from two to f four something like that so we will be having enough towers on each map on map number one basically you place easily you upgrade the dirt monkey and then you upgrade your uh dirtling gunner you lock it in place and you are set you don't need to do any kind of micro this is that simple on map number two, you place Ace in the in the middle, in the same spot as I did, and you lock it on the figure eight. No, finger infant, sorry. Uh, then you place the Azili. Azili is always on strong, and then you upgrade your Ace to 200, 201, 202, and 203. This is important uh, to keep this order because uh, you won't be able to save up for the 203 which is our ultimate goal without the other upgrades because the balloons will overwhelm you next we place the village 0 to 0 and afterwards we upgrade it to 200 to increase the attack speed of all towers in range by 25 percent after that we place the alchemist 301 and then we upgrade it to 401 uh, after that, we are saving up for the Spectre. This map is also pretty straightforward. Now we are set. We don't need to do anything, but I, just in case I decide to upgrade the MAB village and then Call to Arms village. But here we just win. You can use Azili's ability to destroy the mob class balloons at the end to speed up the process. It is that easy. Map number three. You need to keep the placements I just used because uh, otherwise you will leak unnecessary lives. So we begin with the 0 to 2 dirt monkey and then we are ready to 0 to 3 after that we follow it up immediately with the Zili on strong and we place the dirtling gunner, lock him in place in the spot I did because, because remember this is the extreme odyssey and the best possible spots are really really important here which is why follow the exact steps i did and replicate my spots you will get the best results possible here we just repeated the strategy on the map one so it's i just skipped pretty much the whole game done map number three is easy Nem map number four here you might struggle so uh, it is not impossible to complete this without monkey knowledge, because I did complete it without it, but it's a fairly difficult one. You need to begin with the Dirtling Gunner. I did not cut the parts from map number 4 and 5, because you need to see them. We follow this up with the Azili. Here, the main issue is that the bazaar is bizarre map it's very difficult for the beginners especially when you don't have much towers and when you don't have the boats uh, and helicopters thus uh, we will be using ace uh, here we will be using ace micro however just keep this in mind if you cannot ace micro uh, i will explain what what is it in a few seconds uh, you just drop two or three cash drops to get two zero three ace and then you place the village and just do basically the same steps we're gonna do after round 35 if you think that you can clutch up with your skill then replicate what i'm doing right now uh, ace micro is the way to make ace fly over the balloons when you need it to so 
Generally, Ace flies only in the direction you set it to. However, you can exploit one significant uh, power-up with Aces. When you switch between the modes, Ace can have the weird flying patterns. And by exploiting those weird flying patterns, we can make it fly on top of the balloons we need to. For the majority of this playthrough, on this map, Ace is gonna be on figure 8. However, when you see that balloons start to overwhelm you, you're gonna need to try to... It's very simple uh, in practice. You just pu push three times the button of changing the uh, flight path in the same direction. So, for example, you push it to the right. So you push, uh, press it one, two, three, done. You are set and the ace is gonna be maneuvering in the same spot so you need to wait until it's on top of the balloons and then you press it three times and you can make it fly on top of those for at least two more seconds which is plenty because a monkey ace deals most damage when it flies on top of the balloons okay after you get uh, the never miss targeting you don't need to do this anymore and you just micro your dartling gunner uh, you need to target dartling gunner but for the majority of this playthrough is not gonna be difficult most difficult part about m map 4 is definitely ace micro uh, n map number 5 is gonna be easier in, th in this department so you just uh, place the village as I just told you in the beginning to get the camo vision and you upgrade the 401 alchemist remember that uh, your dirtling gunner is going to be 042 not the top path but the bottom one um, also use the abilities of your dirtling gunner but only in a specific way uh, here we are not weak against ceramics because alg buffs never miss is re really really powerful against ceramics because of the huge peers. However, we are weak against the Moebs. Here you are gonna need to use the ability of your Dirtling Gunner on round 54, 58. As you can see, you, you can see exactly what I'm doing, 59. Just replicate what I'm doing. You can slow down the video if you need to here and just use the ability to its fullest extent against the Moebs. When they come close to you, just press the ability, it will have quite significant damage and this way you will be able to handle any challenge the game throws at you. At this point you don't need to do much, you just need to turn your Dirtling Gunner from one path to another path, depending on the round. And you are done. Now it is map number 5. Oof. Map number 5 took me a few tries before I was able to complete it because it requires you very strict following on, of the steps and uh, I can even improve it and I'm gonna tell you how to make it even better that I um, did it on the video. So you begin with the ace and you lock it on figure infinite pro pretty much to the end of, the of this game so you don't worry about ace micro. You upgrade it to... 100, zero, zero, but first you need to place Dart Monkey at the end of this map. After that, you. Wow, microphones are flying. So after that, you upgrade it to 201. Remember, just do what's, what you see on the screen. Uh, it's very important. We will lose a few lives, but here and there, but still, uh, this is the most optimal way I was able to complete this one. Uh, place the spike factory and then upgrade it to bigger stacks. It is important because uh, the most difficult round in the first 40 rounds is going to be round 22. So after that, you upgrade it to 102 and then put it on close. After that, you upgrade never miss targeting. Almost. No, uh, it's gonna be a bit different because we want Never Miss Targeting. If you want to make this island easy, drop one cash drop and get the Never Miss Targeting. But here, first we're gonna need to place a Zilli on Strong because of the LEDs and then upgrade, it, uh, upgrade your Spike Factory to 202 to be able to pop LEDs. Because a Zilli just can't handle everything on her own. 
This is already a pretty bizarre strategy. As you can see, it's not ordinary by any means, uh, but it works. It works, and that's all we need. Uh, after upgrading Nevermiss targeting, which is our top priority in every map when we play with Ace, Nevermiss targeting is remarkably good if you combine it with the Alchemist. And the Spectre fourth tier is also a really, really potent tower. Okay, we place the village and then we turn off the auto start of the rounds before round 40 begins. We upgrade our alchemist to 401 and we let the ace to deal with the Moab. Uh, it's true, it's a bit risky, but it did work out. So if you see that it won't work out, just re-log in into this game. Just uh, tr try this a few times and it will be working for sure. I did it from the first attempt, so I'm pretty sure this is a pretty reliable strategy. Okay, uh, here I don't recommend placing this Dirt Monkey, because uh, from here on out the strategy is going to be a bit different. Place the Glue Gunner for sure. Um, after that, we're going to need a Glue Gunner uh, on top, the second one, to be able to handle the ceramics, which is why we're going to place the... And when, 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 it's going to be pretty soon. We're going to place the Corrosive Glue, glue Gunner, because Never miss is pretty bad against the Moebs, and it's gonna be here. Uh, no needed spike balls, boom. And put this guy on strong for now. After this, uh, where we have the, uh, the Dart Monkey right now, place the spike factory 4 to 0. It is important. Uh, I just died by accident, but uh, it's, it doesn't really matter. Place the 420 spike factory and after that you need to upgrade your village just to make it a bit easier remember the most difficult rounds are going to be round 63 and 64 for this one other than round 22 uh, you don't need to make make as many upgrades because here i was experimenting on the go and figuring out the strategy uh, for the first time here uh, we will need to do some uh, dancing around the balloons uh, using the glue gunners. So, around 63 we sell our corrosive glue, you don't need to upgrade it to uh, tier 4, I just tell you this in advance. Uh, we will buy the 0 for 2 glue gunner, put it on strong, then we will use its ability on the first wave for round 63, then we use Azili's totem, and after that we use the second ability, and on round 64, it's a bit uh, difficult to comprehend, but hear me out, on round 64, uh, we uh, use the ability of Az Azili, and now, and after that we put our glue gunner, which at the end of the lane, on first. It's it is important to remember. Here it's a bit random, but as you can see, at the end of the day I just came to the same conclusion as I had when I told it to you on round 48. I just ha was forced to sell a lot of things and waste a lot of money. If, if we were to execute the same thing but without selling as much, we would save at least $9,000, which is why I told you that me dying and getting extra monkey money, not the money, cash, in-game cash, is meaningless because you will be able to save even more by doing the correct steps ahead of the time. Also, you can spend the extra money you have on the 2-4-0 Spike Factory and use its ability on round 64 to destroy the Moebs much easier. Okay, this was pretty much it. Uh, I know it's a bit 
overwhelming and challenging for the new players to attempt those odysseys. Uh, this is rather difficult for the new players. However, as I just told you, it is not impossible and you can deal with it if you are persistent enough. So good luck guys, I'll press the like or dislike button right now depending on what you think about this video and see ya in the next one.